give people energy and make them feel uplifted and hopeful. Friends and family plus the community is a lot of people that together we make a very loud sound. Welcome to the Levi's Lounge. We're here at the MGM Grand in Las Vegas, and we're getting ready to kick off the True Colors Tour, which is so exciting. I'm excited about everything. It's a good cause. I'm here for the queers. I'm completely out of sea. Now, imagine this. The original gay icon, Cindy Lauper, has invited every other gay icon, including myself, to tour the country, rock out, and raise money for gay rights. When has this ever happened? We brought our friends around us and rolled up our sleeves and pulled everyone together. Make it diverse, make it diverse. It's gotta be. It's such a great lineup. The Indigo Girls, Erasure, Debbie Harry. Cindy loved the idea of having new cutting-edge bands on. The Dresden Dolls, The Gossip, Rufus Wainwright, The Clicks, and Margaret Cho is a lion. And Rosie's coming. What was the loss of The View was the gain of True Colors. But this tour has been in the works for longer than we've been hanging out in Las Vegas. The idea for the tour came together many years ago. Cindy, Johnny, Podell, who was her agent, and I talked about doing this tour and how we can pull it off. Cindy feels very, very strongly about the GLBT community and has always been a big supporter of theirs and their of hers. And I believe that people don't know the facts. They don't know that you could be fired from your job in 33 states if you're gay, lesbian, a transgender, or bisexual. They don't know that the hate crime bill does not extend to everyone. We went to the HRC and Cindy and I are both on the board for Matthew Shippard Foundation. I really feel inspired by Judy Shepard and the mothers that started PFLAG because I'm a mom and I think that family should stick together. And we asked them, would they like to go on tour with us? The Human Rights Campaign is the largest gay, lesbian, bisexual, and transgender advocacy organization in the country. Cindy's a wonderful spokesperson for us. She's passionate about the issues that we're fighting for. Education is so important. So that's what we're trying to do in a fun, loving way. We've been watching all the sound checks and last night we had a first dress rehearsal and Cindy and I looked at each other and we're like, this is actually a really, a really great show too. Big sonic boom, like H bomb blast reverb in there. Make it as brutal as possible. to be here because it, it has a, a higher purpose and it's been just wild and fun and so many talented people it's really great 15 cities 15 gay shows a whole bunch of gay organizations being helped by the show so many gay people so fun been in Las Vegas, it brings to mind my favorite film, Showgirls. Amanda Palmer of the Dresden Dolls is really the Nomi to my Crystal Connors. I am a huge, huge, huge fan for years, and Amanda is so sexy. 
I feel the essence of what we do is on stage with me playing the piano and Brian playing the drums and the two of us just going at it. Like, that's it. That's the trust and balls. One thing I love about this band is that we've never not won over an audience. I'm newly acquainted with Dresden Dolls, and I'm just totally loving it. It's so minimalistic, the music. It was intense. I was totally amazed. I was a street performer when the band started. I was a living statue, so I painted my whole face. And to me, that was just part of being a performer. And, you know, after the band really started garnering attention and touring and... Oh, yeah, the makeup band. I was like, oh, wait a second. This isn't the way it is. All of the people that I revered wore makeup. The idea was if you were an authentic musician, you went on stage in your street clothes and you just did your thing. I grew up in the culture of, like, make it as flamboyant and wild as possible because that's what you get to do. The makeup the clothes are awesome. They're just original and amazing. The band itself doesn't have a heavy history of like waving our, the flag of our sexuality, I'm bi, and it's something that our fans know. This feels like home. I mean, this feels like, ah, oh, we're finally with our people. We got to see a lot of great stars tonight in the form of Amanda Palmer and, say, Cindy Lauper. When we found out that we were going to do this, we completely freaked out. And I'd like to say thank you to Cindy for putting this all together. There's a lot of style on this tour, and I'm so excited that I get to even be in the presence of incredible style diva, Deborah Harry. Something, uh, we got what we have, we have old and new. Thank you very much. I used to go see her at CBGB's. We loved her. She's so amazing. And I'm such a huge fan of Debbie. Andy's wearing this fabulous silver leather jacket. jacket. With Debbie. Debbie Harry. Harry. On the back. Painted on the back. On the back. On the back. On the back. Just... I was not uh, hard enough to be punk. And Debbie was kind of the next step, uh, soft punk. I like the sort of counterculture, really. I think I'm, I'm really that kind of person. I think that that was probably my biggest influence. You know, I, I think when I was a kid, I wanted to be a beatnik. And, you know, sit in coffee houses and smoke a lot. <laughs> and how beautiful she looked. She took a garbage bag and she put gaffer's tape all around it and she still looks stunning. So, you know, some people got it. I used to think that I could be Debbie Harry at one time, and then I realized we well, don't have the same cheekbones. Just being able to be sort of in the presence of Debbie Harry, I'll hopefully learn how to be a touring female performer in the rock world. I'm from the generation of women's lib. You know, that was the sort of the big novelty, you know, that, you know, girls were gonna do things, and it was really a part of that. She's the queen. She invented it all. The Indigo Girls just arrived today, and I have to say, I am such a sucker for them. They are so hot, and I love them. Now, do you think that this shirt is going to, like, make them notice me? For us, you know, we've been doing work around queer issues for a long time. So we're just happy when there's an event, you know, that we can be part of. But they're my old label mates. It's really great to see them again. Rosie, it's good to have you. See you out there. Cool. Uh, I have one tape. Girls. I had my Indico Girls next to, oh, yeah. next to Like a Prayer and 10,000 Maniacs. And I bought the cassette and it, I wore it out and I went through two different copies of it.